All right, YouTube, it's your boy Freddie B coming back at y'all again. Finna get out here right now and see if I can get this trans in here. At least taken out so I can see what kind of screws and stuff I need to put it back together. As y'all can see, it is been raining this whole weekend. Got water back here, cleaned out some of the leaves on the side, but I kind of want to wait till everything to dry up and then I'll just use the vacuum to get all that stuff out. So, anyways, let me find a spot to kind of put this here camera. Let's see if I can find a spot to clip this, hook this to. And I need to start taking this out. As y'all see, it's all wet, nasty, but I need to get these screws here out. See, at least if I can get this off here, the one on this side, I need to get out and see if I can get all these out remove this thing so that I can get the new wood get this wood put back in it looks like I may have to bend some of these pieces out but yeah I'm gonna get this thing worked out for y'all it's probably gonna take me a few days to do we're going to work and coming home trying to do this but anyways guys get back at y'all in a second peace So, I'm gonna definitely get some stainless steel. This stuff is completely rusting out. This is when they just use whatever they got. And it's spinning too. Actually holding pretty good. 
good. These itself probably are good. I might reuse these maybe, but a washer is definitely trash. Washer is definitely trash, y'all. Look at this. All of them. This big washer here. This is whatever they had laying around. Right. Got one more of those to go. Let's pull this coffee off this side. This one's pretty rough. Jesus. Hold the name all the way to the end. probably can hear this wind is picking up I got all these screws out these two here completely rusted I can't get them to loose this one's just spinning so I'm gonna cut that one off and this one I can't even get the socket around it because most of it's rusted off so I'm probably gonna have to cut that one on too the ones in the back here I got those off I'm gonna start on this bottom hopefully because man this rain y'all can't see that back here and I can hear it so I might have to call this quit for the day and start again on this here tomorrow because this this rain's rolling in man it's been off and on all day i've really been wanting to get out here to get to this but i'll probably have to shut it down for the day in a minute or two and the wind's definitely picking up a lot so might have to get back at y'all in, in a minute you can feel the the cold air so it's about to do some serious raining in a minute but i'll get back at y'all in a minute all right y'all it's starting to rain I got all the screws out except for these on the bottom. I'm going to have to flip the bolt upside down and get those off. And this side I haven't started on. It's starting to start drizzling the rain now. So I'm going to pack this stuff up. This one here stripped out. So I got to cut that one off. And I'll get back at y'all tomorrow. Hopefully if it's not raining. And we'll get back at it. Peace. As y'all can see. All day man. All day this raining. So I did what I could. Alright YouTube, this is now Wednesday. I'm still at it. As y'all can see, I don't know how close I can get that. I had to cut two of these on this side, one of them on that side. It was completely rusted and locked together. I couldn't get it out. So basically, here's all the hardware from this thing besides the three that I cut off. And now we can actually see what's on the other side. Let's grab this here. All right, so let's see what's on this side. If I can get this out straight, let's see. This is actually kind of really stuck in here. Hmm. turn this way and it comes out uh, looks like it had 
some type of foam or something under the bottom of this, but there's nothing there now. So those I gotta clean up and paint. And I need to get the bolts out of the bottom of this thing here so I can get this here wood out. This side here is also out. These, uh, I just cut these things off, man. It was very tough getting them off. Those three did not want to come off, so that's that. See if I can do this with one hand now. Turn this way. And these come out. Had a little foam. So this is not that thick, but it had a little foam in each one of these corners. That two guys to be painted. Look at this. You got ants. They're probably all in this wood. And this thing here. Look at this. It's all chewed out. That's probably why they made the screw up there. Oh no, it's down on the bottom. So this just sat them. So the screws on the bottom. I think it might have had one here. Yeah, actually it did have one there. So let's get this out. I get this clean up. It's been raining every single day. Look at all the washers down here. Look at this. Now this is not from me. Look at this. This is definitely somebody else. And they're staying still. And his own stainless steel washers and nuts. I thought I seen another one down there. Yep, right there. Yep. All right. So I got to get all this cleaned up. That's probably not going to be happening today. Look at this. Like I got to say, this thing is completely rotted out. All this stuff is pretty good. I just need to replace this wood and seal it up. So what I'm going to do is remove those now pull that out get this cleaned up I actually gonna have to take this one off too. this bracket here in this corner and the one in the other corner to be able to get the wood in and out I took that one off because it was connected to the thing same with the one on the other side so I'll get that out I do have some rust-oleum paint that goes on the <coughs> excuse me I do have some rust-oleum paint that goes on this boat for this stuff all right and these are the boats to that uh the um holding rod um jesus push pole so that's those there and then those three there and the three up there so i see it all now so let's get this stuff out of here gotta do some serious cleaning in the bottom of this thing i need to put another battery in this thing i don't know where that's gonna go at the moment Rather, I need to put it in the front or in the back. Probably have to put it in loose for now because different, um, depending on the motor, which I do have, they're small. I got them for free and I'm going to try those out for now before I go and buy one. I do want to go with the 25 horsepower though. But we'll see how far I can get along with this. And yeah, let me get these last bolts out, get this wood out of here. And I'll get back at y'all on the next video. I'll go and pick up some, some new wood. Looks like this is three by eight plywood. I'll buy a sheet, cut two pieces, and put this together to put this transom back together. But I need to get this out, cleaned up, painted. So this part one of removing this transom that took days because of the rain every day down here in South Florida. But all right, guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.
painted. Make it look a little better. I'm gonna vacuum all this up. Wet, dry vacuum, clean this up, but it's enough for the day. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the day. It's part one of just getting all this stuff removed. Hopefully this stuff dries up out here. I mean, I have a wet, dry vac and I can get the rest of this up, but that's it for the day. I'm packing up. It's late. I got to get to work in the morning, so guys hey if you like this video please like and subscribe and we're gonna get this thing done and get her out there in this in this ocean man and see what she does i'll see y'all on the next one please like and subscribe peace